This question comes to us from Dustin James. He submitted this to us on the Ask Prof Wolf section of rdwolf.com. And here's his question. Are there any sources of value that a capitalist can exploit that don't rely on labor? This is really interesting because it's a question about Marxist theory that's very fundamental and that has been widely misunderstood. Many people think that Marxist theory of value, what makes something valuable in his system, has to do with the same thing that we call the price of something. In other words, in English, simple English, the words value and price are often pretty much the same. The value of something is the price you have to pay. This is not the case in Marx's view. He wants the theory of value to be something completely different from the theory of price. And if you try to make value equal price or price to be in some form of value, you're misunderstanding what Marx did. Here's the point. Marx wanted us to understand that everything that gets produced in any community, a country, a neighborhood, a region, has to be produced by using up a portion of whatever the labor is that's available in that community. In other words, in that community, if you add up all the hours that all the able-bodied people have to give to work, that's your total supply of labor. And that limits how much you can produce. If you produce more potatoes, then there's less labor left to produce shirts and vice versa. The value of something in Marx is the amount of labor out of the total available that it took to produce that particular thing. Value is another way of saying it took a certain portion of the labor of the community. Price, what you actually get in the market, is shaped by a million variables about that market at that time. It's a completely different matter. It is a mistake to imagine that because price and value are the same in conventional economics, they are the same also in Marx. They aren't. They never were. And you will avoid a lot of misunderstanding if you keep that in your mind.